UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon lashed out at Israel's decision to declare Gaza a hostile entity and impose sanctions on the Palestinians, claiming it violated international law. Meanwhile, in an effort to advance dialogue between Israel and the Palestinians, U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice arrived in the region in preparation for the planned summit. Scheduled to take place in Washington in November, gaps remain between the sides. I would like to welcome again Secretary Rice to the region. Uh, we discussed, of course, the situation in the region, uh, the ongoing di dialogue between Israel and the Palestinians, the need to reach an understanding between Israel and the Palestinians and uh, to reach uh, an understanding on the widest common ground which is possible, I hope. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, we discussed the Iranian threats, uh, the need to take some uh, uh, more sanctions against Iran. We discussed the situation in Lebanon. So basically, like al always, never a dull moment in the region. Uh, we did indeed have a wide-ranging discussion. Uh, we focused uh, fairly intensively for most of the time on the dialogue that is uh, going on between the Palestinians and Israelis. Um, I said to uh, the foreign minister what I will say to all Israeli leaders, that uh, we want to be as supportive as possible of this bilateral dialogue. We are um, hopeful that it can move forward to uh, common understandings of a way forward to the creation of a Palestinian state so that two states can live side by side in peace and freedom. In response to the ongoing Qassam rocket attacks on Israel, the cabinet on Wednesday decided to impose sanctions on Gaza in addition to calling it a hostile area. It includes limiting fuel and electricity supplies. And uh, our decisions today decide that, uh, that uh, it's uh, declaring that uh, uh, Gaza Strip is a hostile territory and the meaning is that even though when it comes to the humanitarian needs, we have our own responsibility. On the other hand, all the needs which are more than the humanitarians, uh, humanitarian needs will not be supplied by, Israeli, by Israel to uh, Gaza Strip. It's no secret that the United States uh, declares Hamas a terrorist uh, organization um, and that we've been troubled by the fact that uh, Hamas did what they did in the Gaza against legitimate Palestinian uh, institutions. We have uh, been very concerned that two things be understood. One is that we will not abandon the innocent uh, Palestinians in Gaza and indeed will make uh, every effort to, to deal with their humanitarian needs. And secondly, that uh, Gaza and the West Bank um, are both constituent entities of the uh, to be Palestinian state. Despite several meetings between Prime Minister Olmert and President Mahmoud Abbas in Jerusalem, the sides have failed to draw up an agreement or even principles in preparation. Our own interest is to reach an agreement between Israel and the Palestinians. It's not because of the international, process, uh, international pressure, but this is our own uh, interest and our own need. But uh, it is very important to find what is the common denominator, whether there are common grounds that we can uh, agree upon in these kind of sensitive issues. And this is part of the dialogue between uh, Olmert, and this was part of the dialogue between Olmert and Abu Mazen. And we need to find out whether we can bridge the gaps on certain issues which are more sensitive. Asked who will participate in the summit and whether Syria and other Arab leaders will be invited, Rice said it was still unclear. We haven't invited anyone yet, so I'm not going to uh, address the issue of participation until we address the issue of participation. Iran's race to attain nuclear capability continues to threaten regional stability, but the Secretary of State says America continues to leave all options open. To President Bush, uh, that the United States is uh, committed to a diplomatic track because we believe a diplomatic track will work. Um, the President of the United States also never takes any of his options off the table. Uh, that it is not business as usual with a state that is seeking the technologies that could lead to a nuclear weapon and whose President uh, has said the most awful things about uh, another member of the United Nations, speaking of wiping uh, Israel off the map. So it can't be business as usual with Iran. Uh, but our view is that the uh, diplomatic track uh, can work. It has to have both 
uh, a way for Iran to pursue a peaceful resolution of this uh, issue, and it has to have teeth. And uh, the UN Security Council and uh, other measures are providing teeth. Only time will tell if the summit will succeed in solving the Palestinian-Israeli conflict and if the world will succeed in stopping Iran.